All right, we are here at AWS Reinvent, and I'm super excited to have my friend uh, Zach again on the Robert Show. Super excited to be chatting with you today because uh, we've been seeing a lot of uh, interesting things coming from Immuta. So, kind of wanting to know a little about that. But just for our audience, would you like to tell us more about yourself? What are you doing at Immuta, and then also a little about how do you feel about AWS Reinvent? Yeah. Well, so my name is Zach. I look after the product management team for the data access governance product of yep. Immuta. Uh, love reInvent, you know, love AWS partnership and love uh, just coming here. I mean, there's great way to spend time with 65,000 friends, right? <laughs> You're right. Yeah. It's always so busy, right? Uh, so it's always fun to be here. Uh, I'm kind of also wanting to know a little about, you know, the partnership that you have with AWS. Uh, can you share that with our audience? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a long-standing partnership with yep. AWS. Uh, it dates back many years. Uh, it started with, uh, Muta supporting uh, our data access governance on Amazon Redshift, and Great. so we've had our Redshift integration for a while. Many, many joint customers have gotten a lot of value out of that. Uh, last year at reInvent, we announced, uh, launched our first ever native object storage integration right. with right. Uh, their new product, S3 Access Grants, which is awesome. Um, combining that with innovations they've done in the identity space, like trusted yep. identity propagation, uh, you know, they're really at the cutting edge of some uh, really important features that uh, I think are just going to see even more and more adoption uh, as, you know, time continues. Yep. And then this year, um, we are announcing our AWS Lake Formation integration, which we're super excited about. Um, I mean, the partnership with AWS just uh, is very strong at all levels, yeah. right? It starts at the product level, and so, uh, me and my team, we collaborate very well with uh, their product managers and their very engineering cool. team. Very cool. They help us co-design stuff to meet customer needs and make sure that you know we're maximizing the value uh, that we're delivering to customers, to both of our customers. Yeah. And um, then you know it extends into the field, into like sales and go-to-market relationships. Uh, very, very grateful for great partners like AWS. Love it, that's a fantastic partnership for sure and uh, those are great announcements as well. I'm kind of wanting to learn a little about, you know, the thing that I've been kind of seeing is around the data analytics, which seems to be, you know, something that a lot of companies are investing in to help, you know, data-driven decision-making. How are you seeing that influence in the governance projects? For sure, so, um, I mean, there's a couple things. So, one, I think the big transition that we've noticed is um, obviously, a few years ago, before AI, uh, people were mostly doing data lake projects, which is uh, you know, kind of just getting the data all in there, into a data lake. Right. Uh, now, it's very clear, you look at you know job titles, or just even like roles of what people are doing in companies, like everything is a data and AI thing. Yeah, I think, true. Um, and so, a lot of what we're working towards with AWS, like some of which still today can't like talk about, but uh, there's some <laughs> there's some good announcements coming tomorrow. Yes, we're waiting for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like based on projects that they're working on to um, make uh, you know like data and AI uh, more unified, uh, it, what we're building is also going to like hook into that. And a lot of um, a lot of like the one of the core uh, you know, jobs to be done, if you will, for customers is like securing access to the data that, like for instance, feeds into all these AI models. Talking about announcements that are going to happen tomorrow, I'll make sure I publish it tomorrow after the announcements are made, but would you like to share a little bit about that, Zach? It's not our announcement, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then we're yeah. going to wait for that, and yeah. we're going to make sure that AWS, uh, we're following that announcement, so yeah. thanks for that. Um, quickly wanting to learn a little about, you mentioned about integrating with Lake Form Machine. Yeah. So what are the driver behind the development work? Uh, would you like to share something about around Yeah, that? absolutely. So, I mean, we like, AWS, like one thing that's very clear in both of our cultural DNAs yep. is that we're both very customer driven. Yep. And so like we noticed that, uh, you know, Amita has a long standing history. Like we spoke last at Snowflake Summit. We have, you know, now for four years, we've been selling the, uh, you know, this generation of the Snowflake integration, which uh, has just been like tremendously successful. And this exactly. the same thing with the uh, Unity catalog integration over the last two years from Databricks. Nice. What we noticed from our customers is that, uh, you know, they have data in Snowflake, they have data in Unity Catalog, they have data in Glue, and like access controls interoperability between all three of those like technical catalogs, super, super important. Yeah. 
And so for us to meet their needs of being able to like cross platform or like cross catalog, uh, secure access to all that data, like we had to support Glue and uh, Lake Formation is just the instantiation of that. Nice. And um, so yeah, we're, we're looking forward to delivering a lot of value to customers who use Athena, who use EMR Spark, who right. use Redshift Spectrum with this Glue integration. This is awesome. Uh, these are fantastic announcements and obviously uh, great work that you're working, uh, great things that you're doing with the partners. So that's awesome. Zach, one more question and I'm pretty sure our audience would love to reach out to you, learn more about these integrations, learn more about the partnerships that you all have. Where can people find you? Uh, is it LinkedIn, Twitter? Where can they reach out, learn more about the amazing Yeah, LinkedIn, that Twitter, doing? Blue Sky is a thing now, Blue right? Blue Sky is yeah. a thing now, right? Um, and then yeah, my email, just uh, first.lastzachary.friedman at muta.com. Yeah. yeah, all right. So you know where to reach out to Zach. Zach, once again, thanks for visiting the Robert Show. It's always such a pleasure. Pleasure as always. You. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yeah.